on the popular website YouTube. There exists a- oh, fuck it. This bit's dead anyway. On with the show. Welcome back to Let's Play Law and Order. Yeah. I'm so sorry for all the bad things that's been happening. Like, seriously, as a content provider, that's just an inexcusable for all the problems I've been having, but... Now we have all the settings taken care of. We got a sexy new program that's giving us beautiful new video. Look at how smooth that cursor is. That's about 30 frames per yeah, second. Yeah, it looks really pretty. That's not bad. Yeah, we're looking good. And these overlays? Fuck them! We're gonna get new overlays! They're gonna look really nice and sexy and here we go! But damn! Look at how sexy those new fucking overlays are! Put some lens flare on there, yeah! Alright, so, with that out of the way, let's keep going on with this game that we are playing. And who? We didn't really do so well in the last episode, uh, one and a half stars, and uh, yeah. We that, could have done better. The next one is called Nobody's Child. Yeah, that oh, seems... Oh, no! Yeah, doesn't that seem just uplifting? This is gonna be great. Well, uh, this is the mid-season change-up where, uh, I am, I guess, brought before 1PP and my, uh, performance has been judged. And I'm being demoted, so you're taking care of this one. What? Yep. It's all up to you. You're, you're better than this than I am anyway. I've been proven to make a fuck up of everything, oh, so no. this is all you. Here we go. Violet is playing now. Mm. Episode 4 onward. I think I might need the mouse pad, honey. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important Oh, groups. are they ever? The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Grandma's watching her stories now. Ooh, Hell's Kitchen. They're supposed to be all capital. I can already see Kinda that. Kinda looks like this kid is in hell, all right. Hell, kid. Ain't He's got a vampire yet. bite on his wrist. He's jumping the gun. Sure, shit. Oh, every little bit helps. Oh, jeez. What? It's not like you're gonna use Oh my god, is that homeless what guy taking that dude's hat? Cry that kid's hat, yes, he is. Body. Call the cops. It's not like they're gonna give two craps. Not with everything else that's going on. He's the kind of guy who, get drunk, who gets drunk on balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> okay, damn it. Don't say I never did nothing for you. Thanks, mister. What, thanks for calling the cops? Took you long enough. Yeah, well, I had to put on my face. I wanted to look my best, but... I guess this is another pass case with Briscoe. Midnight. Welcome to the new millennium. Yeah, point, case in point, it's uh, 2000, I guess. Oh, yay. That was in the date, wasn't it? Not so, at least. We're already off to a great start. I have no idea when this is. Or I have a very, li very limited idea of when this is. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, I don't think they give any dates, do they? We just probably weren't paying attention. Oh well. I also I haven't watched enough of the original Law and Order to get most of this. All right. Where's and the we're back. She got called away. Assistant should be here with the body bag any time. Poor little kid. He doesn't look more than 12 years oh, old. Some city we live in, huh? Severe internal Ooh. hemorrhaging. Broken Ooh. radius, multiple oh. conclusions. Somebody beat him with a baseball. Oh. Nah, something with a sharper edge. Check out the gas. Yeah, talk about stuff. edge. He's also come back after a Oh, they're burn marks. Definitely oh, burn oh, marks. Oh, damn. Fresh. Time of death? Around eight, probably. Body's pretty stiff. Ugh. No ID. Nothing in his pockets. How the tasers were, it looks like he put his, his hands up his to block his down. face from some. <laughs> well, I tell you, once I find the bastard who did this, I'm gonna probably do the same thing to him. Shoes, but their hats? What, what about the bag? Hand? Except empty. probably all of his penis. Why would he be holding Ooh. an empty bag? Hey, detectives. I caught this guy hanging around outside the alley. Bill, Elijah what are you doing here? You know him? Sure. Picked him up at five for disturbing the peace. Found him standing on his shopping cart outside the Schubert, ranting about Y2K. <laughs> oh, I was just telling the people what the puppet masters don't want them to know. All right, let's talk about the body. Why don't you tell me what you know about the dead kid over there? Real talking, kid. I'm the one kid. who reported the murder, okay? 
I'm the good guy here. Oh yeah, yeah. the good guy for well, stealing his hat when he's dead. Award, you got to tell me. I play a lot of Elder Scrolls, you see. <laughs> what? Do I look like a grave robber? I didn't take nothing. Yeah, you did take something because there's blood on your hat. Bam! You lying sack of gin. Uh, the boy's cap was stolen and the one Elijah's wearing is bloodstained. There, easy! Boom! I should get my promotion back. No, I don't think so. Okay. That cap doesn't fit you so well. It shrank in the wash. Or maybe you swipe it off the kid. Or maybe I just right, got the easy right. case. He was through <laughs> using it, wasn't he? Hey, there's now nothing easy go about go a dead child here. Go protect my stockpile from looters. Alright, so we got some new topics. It's to what? 2K? Listen, Elijah, I know you're a prophet, and I'm just a cop, but take it from me. This Y2K bug is a bunch of BS. That's what you government stooges want us to Y2K think. turned out okay. One of your gullible yeah, thieves. I'm still I alive from it. Well, there's your problem. Because a lot of the computers we use to run our society aren't made from 1982. Police state comes crashing down. I'll be equipped to survive. In the style to which you've grown to I actually have a Sonic the Hedgehog PC. Darn! Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. I know, but... I like Are they or aren't they? Well, I don't know. I mean, it, I, I like conversation. I like okay, uh, lengthening the, the story, but you do do if they're bad, then oh well. They don't Did dock up any points. Did you just kill the kid? And then turn but I had a Sonic the Hedgehog PC uh, game that had Y2K approved on it, and it was like made back in like 1995 or something. Oh my god. So, where were you at eight o'clock this evening? Drinking olive oil. The hospitality of the fifth precinct. I was in the. I thought it was thing. vinegar. He drinks all the fancy oils that you see. Oh, oh what? Son of a. That true? Yeah, he was released about eight thirty. Yeah, I guess that clears huh. you. Well, okay. What else? I want you to turn over everything you took off the kid now. I'm homeless, officer. Everything I own is on me. So go ahead. Well, let's search. take off the cap then. What? No. He probably is because homeless people don't oh. really have everything. Damn it! See? Maybe they do, and I don't know. I seem to recall you saying something about a stockpile. See, you were talking to that shit. Stockpile. I'm a citizen. I got a constitutional right to my stuff. It's there in the Fourth Amendment, pig. I'll have to read it sometime. Man. Well, you're still the most likely Let's suspect. Let's go seriously. Time to put the screws to pro. I, I guess so. All right. It's at least. Ooh, let's at least pissed. pass par here. I'll take you down to the station right now and let the jackbooted thugs work you over, or you can take me to your stockpile. Which is it gonna be? I'm not scared of you. Come the stroke of midnight, your police state's gonna collapse like a rotten jack-o'-lantern. You only wish. Can I prove it? Well, yeah, I just proved it myself. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. uh, it's already after midnight. No, it was... Oh. That's what it was! It's past midnight! I hate to burst your bubble, Mr. Prophet, but uh, it's already Ooh. after midnight. Huh? I should have known it would be off. Man! Yeah, tourist junk. But I don't get it. The system's supposed to be crashing. How come the really exaggerated still arm on? movement? We have this uh, super secret emergency backup system. Damn it's you called guys. Echelon. You think of everything. <laughs> Now, should I call the station and have them charge up the cattle prods? No, that won't be necessary. Follow ah, me. Yeah, he called him a pig and he called but him a cow. But just because There's we have... Pile. Stuff I got from the kid's bag is three strikes. the on top. Fossey program, and he They're probably just gonna shirt, dock off our rating at the end of it. Hey, as long as we clear it, we'll be good. A, hey, a credit card receipt. Yeah, that ought to get us somewhere. Try again for a better score. No thanks, we'll just keep going on. Uh, yeah. Thought I got the easy one. And the credit card people told you right where I was staying? They had a record of the hotel charge, Mrs. Tallis, mm -hmm. and the hotel confirmed you're booked through the end of the week. Amazing. You managed to recover my stolen bag when I didn't even report the Well, ma'am, you were probably way too soft for it. world for you. And here I thought all the networks were going to be down today. For God's sake. <laughs> We're investigating the murder of the thief, and we'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. 
Of course. As long as I don't miss curtain time. We're catching Dame Edna tonight. Ooh. So. Uh, yeah, go for it. Here's a photo of the merchandise we recovered from the shopping cart. Do you see everything that was in your bag? I think so, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's where my ticket to Aida went. Mm -hmm. I emptied out my handbag looking for that son of a gun. Had to miss the... Wait. Why would she have Statue a ticket to Aida? Come again? There was a model of the Statue of Liberty, about yay high. It had a marble a base with a Statue clock in it. Uh... I don't know, I guess. Okay. Good job. Woo! What is it? Hmm. Well, do you know it? You're gonna have to guess on this one, I guess. Hmm. Well, he doesn't get to keep that, so it's not that one. Credit card. He didn't get credit. Hmm. He had a marble base with a clock attached. Maybe not, that didn't have anything to do. Hmm. This is, this one's a toughie, kiddo. Son. Damn. Too bad. I guess we'll never know. Can you tell us where the bag was stolen? It was on Forty Second Street, about oh four thirty. Okay. I was just coming from the half price ticket booth, very pleased with myself. I'd managed to snag the very last ticket to a preview of Aida. Aida. I felt a tongue, oh. And before oh, I knew what show, was what, she's it, there Broadway he was, zipping lover. away with my bag. So you wouldn't be able to ID him? I'm afraid I didn't hmm. see his face, just his backside. Hey now. Yeah, because she he was running away from her. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, all right. Ha <laughs> All right, so. Bag had a ticket to Aida in it. Yeah! Woo! Superstar! All right. All right. What brought you to New York? The Millennium, of course. Oh, of course. It's sure. not the Millennium back in St. Louis? <laughs> right. Of course. But this is where the action is. Times My Square, friends baby. and I are part of I the guess. theater society. The Looky Loos. Uh, we uh, make a Broadway uh, trek once a year, usually in the fall. The Looky Loos but and this Saint time Louis. around, we decided to wait a bit so we oh. could be part of all the fun in Times Square. Well, okie dokie then. What's your alibi, you uh, bitch? This is Thomas. Where were you liar. at 8 o'clock last night? W was that the time of the murder? Are you asking me for my alibi? If you don't mind. Not at all. This is just like that TV show. Yeah, what's it called? Girl NCIS, girl that's, that's right. 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 I was I was at Aida, of course, with the other Looky Loo ladies. I was catching a Looky Loo at them ladies. But Set. she said 4.30. But her ticket was stolen, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah! You lying! I ate a ticket was among the stolen items. Right there. Where is it? Right this one. Boom! Oh, yeah! Cut you in a lie! You Wait, going down! Wasn't your ticket one of the things that was stolen? Yes. <laughs> that face is like, oh, you shit. You caught me, detectives. Truth is, since I couldn't get in, I ended up killing time. Just you ended up killing a child. I, I was waiting for the show to be over so I could meet up with the group and hear about uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. I don't think it's going to run long. I don't believe you! Well then, describe What makes you think Aida long. isn't going to run? My friend Gloria Hempel told me it wasn't up to the standard of Sir Elton's earlier work. And she has excellent judgment. Why do you know? She fell asleep in the second act of Steel Pier, and it closed a week later. Ugh. Oh. I, I guess it was a red herring, because, yeah, everyone wants to hear about... Ida. Yeah. Did you get a good look at the thief? 
Oh, not really. It all happened so fast. Try to remember. You may have been the last person to see him alive. Oh, dear. He was just mm. a boy, poor thing. Brown hair. Oh. I think he was wearing a sports jersey. Well, I guess we have sort. a prime suspect it for had now. a logo on the front of, you know, that team that plays the game with the ball. That plays the game with the ball? What? Nothing she said there made any sense. That's Woo! right! You can't lie to my face. She said she only saw the boy from behind. See, yeah! See, it's, she's not testifying because she's not testifying right now. You saw the logo on the boy's jersey while he was running away? Oh, well, no, what I mean is, I recognize the team colors. Which are? Uh -huh. You know, green and gold. What are you not telling us, Mrs. Tallis? Well, I suppose I you did see a bit more of the boy than I let on. Oh, God, no! I got into a bit of a tussle with him before he got away. Tell us everything about this tussle! Uh-huh. Ew! You murderer! You're fucking gross! You got into a tussle. I'm not entirely naive, you know. I'm well aware how rough the oh, God. can be, especially on New Year's Eve. Uh, let's just say I came prepared. You better describe what's in that bag! I'm just awful about it now, knowing what happened to the boy. Taser. You know, oh, my God. No, the taser. Uh, well, it was the instinct of self-preservation. Yeah, remember you got oh, tased? Okay. Not she just tased him. Your instincts are quite healthy, Mrs. Tallis. Did you go Still, the why would you tase a child? Weapons? Of course not. He was just a child. I'd never risk hurting a child. Tasers don't hurt. No! He was tased on the hand. Yeah. Boom. That evidence is gonna bring you down. Oh my gosh. We found a taser burn on the boy's hand. Did you? Yes, I suppose I <laughs> What the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> not badly, mind you. Just a little mini tase. A little mini tase. Just a mini tase. It was only for thirty on seconds. Boy. Only for thirty Cut. seconds. You don't taste you children. Away. It really children hurts. Are slippery. Children are slippery. God, Did I wanna... just fucking say that. I don't want to hear about your slippery children. Ah. God. the big part of your time? Lock this bitch up for something. Yeah, she needs to be in jail. Everything I could for something. Been. Were you there? No, I had to work. Of course you had. Such a pity. My yeah. friends and I managed to push our way in front of the cameras. I even reached out and touched Dick Clark's toupee. Oh my god. Something to tell the grandkids Dick. about. I think we're drifting off topic. Well, we gotta be thorough, How come detectives, you so shut your mouth. Crime? Well, I mean, it was New Year's Eve. I'm sure the police had their hands full just keeping the peace. So it was a courtesy to us? <laughs> well, that and, you know, I'm flying back to St. Louis tonight, and what can I say? She's be out of here in an awful I hurry, I don't you think? I just it up as a loss. A loss? <sighs> Why would it be consistent? She's been lying to us this whole time. But that doesn't mean that story's not consistent. Hmm. You're the one with the mouse. <sighs> Damn it! Shit! I told you she was a lying bitch! <laughs> We had no reason to trust I her! I thought she might be trusted! You're still hiding something, you whore! <laughs> Mrs. Dallas, how would you like front row tickets to a new drama? It's playing down at the Manhattan Criminal Court. Right! Building. It's In a jail! A it's a ladies' you, prison drama. You don't seriously think. That you're holding something back? Yes. So why don't you hand it over? What do you Like got? the murder weapon! It's the boy's backpack. I pulled it off him when we were... Why does everybody know, steal from you. dead children? Right. I don't know. Uh, I said to him, give me my bag and I'll give you yours. But he just took off without it. I guess he was scared. Hmm. And why didn't you tell us this at the start? No Take shit. Look I have his belongings. See his trinkets, She's a drama queen. She has to prolong it a mind. bit. You know. I figured I got the better deal in the exchange. <sighs> and it would have made such a great punchline to my story. A punchline that ends What does he have that is... Better than hers. Some school books and stuff. That lady needs to not be free. 